Today marks the second annual State of the City for Mayor Matt Sisko, who has time now under his belt to talk about what's to come for the year ahead. I got the opportunity to talk to the busy mayor who told me what core issues are being addressed this year. We talked a lot about housing. Uh, you know, housing has been the number one issue uh, over the first 16 months of my time as mayor. Uh, so we got into, you know, the housing accelerator fund, the funding that the city recently received. Uh, we talked about, you know, the steps we're taking, the plan that we presented to the federal and the provincial governments on how we think we can best get housing built in the community. So a lot of discussion around that. We talked about the social issues uh, related to housing, homelessness, the opioid epidemic, uh, the mental health crises as well. And, you know, this is an opportunity as well to sort of talk about the successes that we've had over the last year. We, uh, we've moved a lot of policy forward. Our, our efforts to try and attract more sports tourism are, are getting bigger. You know, we, uh, we saw that with a number of really great announcements of events coming to St. Catharines in 2024 and 25. So uh, ultimately, the, the, the biggest theme in this speech was about optimism, because I think there's lots of reasons for people in St. Catharines to be optimistic about what the future holds. For the past two years, Mayor Sisko has had to focus in on the housing crisis including building process improvements, as well as a provincial streamline approval fund. We've brought in a, a number of different business optimization processes to, to make the process work better. We've worked with the development community specifically. You know, and we worked with the development community to figure out like, where are the choke points? Where are the, the problems that you experience here that maybe you don't experience in other communities when you're developing? Uh, and we've tried to smooth those out as much as possible. Uh, the funding that the province has offered in that respect has been very helpful. We wouldn't have had the financial capacity to do it otherwise. Although there are many negatives that need to be looked at, there are just as many positive outlets that need continued support as well. The business community is the backbone of the community. Um, the, the reality is, you know, we need people that are, are going to employ our residents. We need those businesses to be there. Um, we focus a lot on the big businesses because St. Catharines has a very proud history of bigger companies being engaged and, and having workforces within the city, General Motors, uh, you know, companies like uh, Heddle Marine. But there are smaller companies that also uh, contribute a great deal. You know, we have more than 4,000 small and medium-sized businesses in St. Catharines. Most people are working for one of those small and medium-sized businesses. So, you know, they're absolutely integral to what we're trying to accomplish. Looking back at the year of 2023 and all the progress that was made, Mayor Sisko goes over what major differences there are this coming year compared to his first year in office. You know what, the biggest thing is, is our ability to reach other levels of government and access the dollars they have available. Uh, it's always going to be a fiscal capacity issue. All of these problems that we've identified, things that we want to work on, it's going to take money to be able to actually address those issues. We've been able to access dollars at the federal and provincial level that we just have never had access to before. And so I think that's what's going to allow us to start to make some headway on some of the problems we've identified, you know, whether it's homelessness or it's affordable housing, whatever the case may be. Uh, I, think, I think it's that connection to upper levels of government that's going to allow us to do it. The state of the city has concluded with expectations being high for the year of 2024. In St. Catharines, for The Source, I'm Nathan Bowie.